Hello, um, Tram. How are you? How do you feel today? I feel fine. You feel fine. Sounds good to hear. Okay. Uh, so, give me a second, Tram. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid I'm having issues uh, with the webcam. Let me see what's going on. Can you see me? Nope. Okay, so let me see. What about now? Can you see me? No. No problem. Give me just one minute, all right? So I'm going to check the, the configuration of my webcam just to make sure, all right? Just okay. one, one minute. And how do you feel today? How, how was your week? Uh, it was okay. I was at home and I don't know. Oh, you were at home, right? So, mm -hmm. and was everything fine? Yes. Okay, perfect. So today we are going to continue specifically where we stayed, all right? So we're going to review all that so that we can have, all right, a little bit more of practice on this uh, ALS preparation part. So do you remember what you and I talked before in our previous lesson? Uh, we're learning about the vocab and relationship. That is correct. And also we we talk about some adjective. I don't know if you remember that. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. So I don't know if you remember that in the last time we covered um, the last time uh, that we covered the class, we have um, a situation Um, I mean, we were talking about some, let's say, um, some adjectives, right, to describe ourselves in regards of, um, in regards of our personalities, all right. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the, then uh, I told you to tell me uh, what was the adjective that they describe you. Uh, what is the, the adjective that you can use to best describe you? Okay. Okay, so like I said before, what is the, hello? What is the yeah. word that you can use to best describe you? Mm. Oversensitive. Okay. Perfect. Um, let me ask you something. Uh, especially you say that you were sensitive. All right? Yes. Yes. Okay, and let me ask you something. What is uh, a sensitive person? What is a sensitive person? What do you mean? No, I'm saying to you, to you, my question is, what is to you uh, being a sensitive person? Odd person. I don't understand. I don't understand that whole No, no, I'm saying, let me re-explain to you. What is um to you uh what is uh, uh what is to you being a sensitive person? What is sensitive for you? Ah sensitive. Yeah, sensitive. What is the word sensitive for you? Do you know what sensitive means? Mm. 
sensitive. Uh, sensitive. Sensitive, yeah, the word sensitive. I know it, but I, I know it, but I don't know how to explain. Oh, okay, you know it, but you don't know how to explain it, all right? I do understand. Uh, okay, let me explain to you what is a sensitive person. Sensitive means that somebody, okay, sensitive means somebody that is not, all right, somebody that may feel bad about something, but in other words, sensitive is something that is very careful, that, you know, if we talk about that topic, it can also bring some like consequences. You know what I mean? That is to be sensitive, okay? Uh, okay. It's like something that is very careful that not everybody will have the ability to talk about because uh, probably it's gonna be kind of compromising. And you know, people prefer, people will prefer not to, uh, you know, talk about this particular thing, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is being sensitive. I think my camera is okay working now. No, I just okay. Can you see, see me? Background. Let me see. No, I just I just see your background. <laughs> you don't see my background. What about now? Yeah. Can you see me? I think it's working now because the computer says that it is working. Let me see. Yes. Can, can you see me? Yes, but. Is oh, all the way around, no problem. Let me see. Oh, uh, can you see me now? Is it good? But it's all around. All the way around. Great, oh, yeah. here I am. That's another type of webcam that I'm using. That's not the one of the computer. But I think this one is gonna work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wow, sorry. Okay, let's continue. Let me share my screen. Okay. So look at there. So now we are going to continue with this part of the of the class, we're gonna continue with some exercises that we have, okay? And especially more, um, uh, more special in regards of motivation. For example, when we are talking about motivation, I don't know, can, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, great. So when we talk about things that we express with motivation, we can use expressions like, it's amazing. It's, uh, for example, you can also say it's awesome. Um, the, crowd, the crowd went wild. And those are some expressions that we can use all right, to express motivation. For example, when we are having uh, an interaction with, uh, when we are having an interaction with somebody else, all right? So we can use expressions like, oh, it's great. Oh, it's fantastic. Do you know any other expression to, uh, to say or express motivation? Tran? Not really. Okay, so let me see, let me show you this. Okay. Look at there, let me show you some of them. Let, uh, let me see.
another thing is that some people may use those expression like, oh, great, oh, fantastic. But in fact, they are not enthusiastic. And let me ask you something. Why do you think they are using this kind of language? What do you mean? Let me show you something, okay? I'm going to use the chat. Are you in a computer or in a laptop? <clears throat> can you see the messages I said? Um, can you see the messages I am sending yep. to you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me just recap <laughs> so you can understand me better. All right. So look at what we are talking at this time. Yeah. Trying. At this time, we are talking about uh, we are expressions, phrases to express enthusiasm, all right? Which means those are phrases that we can use, all right? Mm -hmm. Those are phrases that we can use to express enthusiasm or motivation. In other words, with these expressions, we can let other people know that we are happy, that we have motivated. And some of these phrases are fantastic. You mm -hmm. can also say amazing. It's pretty yeah. much the same. You can also say wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see in the chat? Yeah. Another thing you can say, for example, is The, uh, the other thing you can say, for example, is great. Let me show you. Let me show you here. Hold on for a second. All right. Oh, what is the chat? Okay. Another thing is, oh, great. Okay. So mm -hmm. now, Tran, can you tell me, do you know any other expression that express enthusiasm or motivation? Do you know any other? Mm, like, is it, is, is, um, do you mean that uh, I will... I will find some words like fantastic, amazing, wonderful, and All right. or something. That's right. That's right. To use it in the conversation. Like one that you can substitute. For example, instead of using amazing, great, awesome, I want you to tell me a word that is different to those that we mentioned, and we can use it in the, in the conversation to express your enthusiasm. Oh, right. Let's see. Mm. Awesome. Okay. What else? Uh, awesome. What else? I'm um, not. Any other? Great for? Um, another one can, can be, another one can be stunning, all right? That's, that should be another one, okay? So look at this. Uh, let me tell you something. As you know, this class, is more focused on speaking. But as you know, speaking has different parts. Okay, let me show you something. Yeah. I am going to the, I'm <clears throat> going to the chat. Look at the chat. So on speaking, on speaking, you have, speaking is the skill 
but you have some sub skills. You have some sub skills. Among these sub skills, we have intonation. We have tone of voice. One second. We have tone of voice. And um, also the intonation is um, the melody. We have also the accent. We also have the length. All right. And here we have a definition of intonation, all right? Yes. What is intonation? <clears throat> According to the book, what is intonation? Uh, intonation? Yeah, what is intonation? Can you see it? Intonation is the, the word that means to up voice or down voice or low voice. Or high that, voice. That is correct. And according to the book, according to the material, what is intonation? According to the book, can you see there? Intonation is the melody of the language all right do you want me do you want me to give an example okay i am going to give an example of intonation look at this so intonation is the melody and i'm going to show you a living example what is intonation and how does it infer in a speaking look at this look at me Hi, how are you? My name is Sister Alexis, and I'm here talking to you. Okay, look at this. I got to talk to you right now because it's very important. Number two, number three. Um, the way how I use my intonation is very important because I do it the way you are supposed to listen to. What can you see here on those three examples? What did I do different? What? Can you say it again? Can you look, say it again? At, look at there. Look at the way how I'm talking. Because I think I, I have to okay. give you some examples. Look at there. Hi. Okay. I am talking to you because I want you to learn English and improve your skills. Number one. Number two. I am talking to you right now because I want you to improve your skills and I think it's very important. Number okay. two. Hi, I'm talking to you. I want you to improve your skills. What is the difference in the three way that I spoke? What is the difference? Uh, the, the first one you say is the low voice. The second one you say the high voice. And then okay. the third one, the fast, the fast. Fastest. All right. That is right. You get my point. And what was the difference among these <laughs> three these uh, three ways of speaking? <laughs> the difference is the way, the melody, the way how I sound. The way how it sounds, like the mannerism, the, the way how I speak is the melody, how it sounds, all right? Okay. All right. Okay, so like I said before, when we express a, in a language, in the language, when we use our tone of voice and speak in the language, the tone of voice will express the way how you're talking. For example, I can tell you, can you ask me how do you feel? Tram, mm -hmm. can you ask me? Can you ask me? Teacher Alexis, how do you feel? How do you feel? 
try to do it. Do it. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. I want you to ask me. I want you, Tram, to ask me, Teacher Alexis. How do you feel? And I am going to show how you do something. You feel? Do it again, Teacher Alexis. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel your fine. voice not fine. And your voice not fine. That's what I'm going. To, where this is where I'm going to. I'm saying I feel fine, but my tone of voice expresses the opposite. And then there is a problem here with uh, with the tone of voice. And then when we are speaking, especially in not in not only in English, but also in other language, not only in English, in any other language. So we need to know what is the right tone of voice to be able to have a good <laughs> intonation. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, accent. All right, the accents, all of us may have different accents depending on where we are from. For example, if I'm from New York or if I'm from Jersey, I'm sure that I may speak differently to the people from the South. Saying, for example, Alabama, um, for example, California, for example, um, Texas, you know, they may speak, well, I'm sorry, let me ask you something. So, do you know, sorry for the, sorry about the question. Sorry about the question, uh, but just to ask you, uh, have you ever heard about those states in the United States? Yes. Texas, California, Arizona, Alabama. Have you ever heard about those states? Yes. Perfect. So usually um, the way how people speak, there in Arizona, California, Alabama, Texas, sounds a bit different. Like, you know, the southern state of the US, they sound different, like people speak on the eastern states, like in New Jersey, New York City, I mean, New York, Boston, you know, they sound, we sound differently, right? And the, this way how we talk, all right? We call this accent. Do you understand that? Probably, uh, probably the way how we speak, all right? Uh, in America is differently to the way that it's, the English language is spoken in Europe, or probably how it's spoken in Australia, or maybe the way how it is being spoken right in Canada, or they may also have different dialects. And that's what I'm saying, all right? So we, we need to make sure to understand all dialects in English language, all right? All right. Clear with, clear with that up to this point? Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, next thing is length. Do you know what, what is length? Do you have any idea what is length? No. Okay, length means, for example, I'm talking to you and I'm having a conversation, right? But for example, what if I want to talk about, what if I want to talk about medicines? Uh, what about if I talk about medical terms? Or what if I want to talk to you or to have a conversation about tourism, or if I wanna, I want to have a conversation with you, Tram, about aviation. All right. Do you think you may hold a conversation uh, about aviation or tourism or maybe management of thirty minutes, including words that probably you may not understand because you never seen those words? Do you understand this? Yes. Okay, let's let's do an exercise. Look at there. Okay. So 
uh, I'm going to do an exercise with you, but I also want you to participate in it. So look at what I'm gonna do. So now we're going to practice with length. Look at this. We're gonna practice with length. Okay. Okay, so I am going to bring a, a topic. I am going to bring forward a topic. Let's talk about right. Um, that let me see. Let's talk about medicines. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you to talk about uh, gastrointestinal problems. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what are the most common reasons of, of gastrointestinal problems in the human body? Not really. I don't know, know much about the is it the body or any? Oh, okay. Look at this. Look at this. Now I am going to tell you. Uh, um, I am going to show you. All right, a little bit of this. Look at this. That's just an example. Tram. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Gastrointestinal problems. So gastrointestinal problems. Those are problems that people may have on their stomach, usually because of the bowel move movement or because of their intestine. So to start with the digestion process, usually sometimes they may feel pain and need to use painkillers, or sometimes they need some analgesic to feel better. Sometimes they may feel acidity or acid reflux. Look at this. What happens here when I was talking, Tram? Yeah. Did you understand all the information I said? Yes. Okay. What was there any word that you did not understand? Wait me and uh, to see it again, please. Uh. No. Okay, you understood everything. All right, perfect. Sounds good to hear. And look at that. What's happened in the conversation when I started talking about medical terms, right? Medicines. So what will happen if somebody doesn't know those words? Do you think this person will be able to hold a conversation of 30 minutes? If a person doesn't know those words, for example, like intestine. What do you mean? I, what you are you saying? Look at that one I'm saying. I, I'm afraid that I will need to repeat myself to you. And um, I really want you to understand this because I wouldn't like you to, to be disconnected on this. Let me explain this to you. Now, what I'm trying to explain to you is length, which is one of the sub skills of speaking. I first started talking about, the first thing I started talking to you was intonation, okay? Intonation means the way how you sound. It's low, it's high, First, sub skills. First, we started with the speaking, which means talking, speaking. But the speaking has different sub skills. Among these sub skills, you have intonation, which, which I explained to you. Intonation means how you sound the words. We have the tone of voice. How high or how low can you sound? Or Ah, tone of voice, all right? How your voice projects. Then we talk about, we talked about accent. 
which means how people can talk, the way how people sound. That is something that is natural for everyone. For example, the way how English language is spoken in New York City is different to the way how English language is spoken in California because they may sound different, even though they are, they may be both Americans. Somebody from California and somebody from New York City, they are both Americans, but they may sound different because they have different accents. Like somebody from the, U the United Kingdom and somebody from America, they may sound different, even both speak English because they have different sounds or accents, all right? So then after I explain to you what was an accent, so then the next thing was length. And what is a length? Length means how long can you stay in a conversation? How long can you talk in a conversation using different words? For example, if now I am talking to you about medicine, for example, and you are able to say all the vocabulary that has to do with the human body, maybe your stomach, digestion, all right? So you may have the sufficient length to speak one hour, which means how long you can stay in a conversation. One minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, one hours, all day long, all the time. This is length. Length is how long can you sustain a conversation properly and, and precisely. Accuracy is very important, all right? Accuracy is very important, all right? And the length. Clear with this? Tram? Tram? Okay, I forgot to turn on my microphone. Did you understand that or do you want me to explain this to you again? Can't please because it's a bit uh, hard to hear and hard to understand. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Let's just continue with this uh, where we stayed, all right? Let's continue. Okay, so now we're gonna do the following, okay? So here we have, uh, let's talk about some phrases, okay, that best, best describe our lifestyles or, or the lifestyle of people in your country, okay? Look at this. Uh, what are some things that in your country um, people may consider as healthy habits? What are those things that in your country may be considered as healthy habits? Okay. <clears throat> For example, like doing ex what, what what are those activities that you may consider as healthy habits? Mm. Can you repeat? Let me write it to you. Let me write it to you. Look at there. I am going to use the chat. What are these activities? that may be considered as healthy, okay? Mm. Healthy habits. What are these activities that may be considered by health as habits? Ah. 
in your country? Uh, hundreds, that's healthy habits. Uh, country celebration, uh, healthy habits in the country is jog jogging. Jogging, that's right. Great job. What else? Can you tell me some others that you know? Uh, cycling. Cycling, very good. Uh, doing yoga. Okay. And okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And what about food? What do you think about food? What about food alimentation? Do you think that having a balanced diet, having a balanced diet, wouldn't be part of it? Look at there. Look at there. Balanced diet. Yes. Yeah. My mom is one of it. One <laughs> of them. Okay. And what kind of food do you think uh, we need to have to be able to have a balanced diet? Yeah. What kind of food do we need to eat to have a balanced diet? Uh, the balanced diet may uh, the balance. If we balance diet, we we will have be healthier than the may... people that. Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Uh, we will have healthier than the people that. They are exercise often, but they are not balanced the, their diet. Okay, we may feel healthier. And what do you think? I have another question. All right, I have another one. What do you think about having a good diet or a balanced diet plus doing exercises? Mm. Would it be better? Would it be good? Do you think it may help? Uh, it might help our body. What do you mean? Do you think doing exercises, all right? Doing exercises and having a, a balanced diet. Do you think it may help our body? I don't understand. Okay, no problem. So just rejoin the class. The meeting is going to end. I would like you to join the class again to explain this to you. Okay? So just in okay. case that it takes us out, because the meeting was programmed for, I think it was 40 minutes, but I'm going to do it. Uh, still, we need to cover a couple of, a couple of minutes to complete the, uh, the rest of the class. And that's why I want you to rejoin again. I'm gonna explain this to you right now, okay? Okay. So, okay, well, give me just, a, just one second or, um, or less than a minute, <laughs> a couple of seconds so, we, so I can explain this to you, okay? 